Hey, this is Gary Kay. We're here at ISE 2020 here in Amsterdam. Uh, middle of day one, I'm here with Tom Cattell, Director of Channel Sales and Channel Marketing in North America for Epson. Good afternoon. Hi, Gary. How are you? I'm doing really well. Hey, uh, first off, congratulations on a great 2019. I remember, I don't know, six, seven, eight years ago, the, the, a lot of people in the industry thought projection was going to die a rapid death. Here you go having 2019, one of the best years ever. Yeah, the, the projection provides us an opportunity to uh, put displays on any surface, uh, any wall. As you, as you go throughout our stand, you, you will see crisp, clear projection on multiple surfaces. So those are things that, that flat panels can't do. Yeah. And, and that's going to, um, th that's where our growth is. Yeah, and you're exactly right. And I think one of those impetuses for growth was a couple of years ago, you launched a product called LightScene, which is literally a laser projector inside, well, you know this, a laser projector inside of a, uh, inside of a, uh, uh, um, a track lighting system, basically. You can hang it from a track lighting system, project 360 degrees on any kind of surface. And behind us here, they've got a whole light scene section. You're projecting on everything from furniture to, uh, including a couch, to uh, flowers, to um, a, a, you got a, a bar set up back here. You've got, you're even projecting on mirrors. Uh, it's, it's pretty amazing. You, you sort of, you've, in a way, projection is now a big part of digital signage, which digital signage used to all be about 55 inch uh, flat panel displays. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's, it's what I talked about earlier. One of the things that projection can do with digital signage is we can project on any surface. As, as you look behind us uh, in the stand, as you said, we're projecting on furniture, we're projecting on uh, a mirror. Um, light scene is just one aspect of our digital signage portfolio. Uh, in, uh, it's, it's a big part of our growth strategy going forward. Yeah, and, and laser projection was a big part of that. And of course, Epson is all about projectors, three LCD, which is the key thing there because you're getting an imager for red, green, and blue. And you've got resolutions all the way up to 4K now. Also, you've got, uh, you, you, I don't know, maybe five, six, seven years ago, you entered in the large venue category. And what's interesting about Epson is that every category you enter, you eventually become a leader in, which is interesting. You follow almost every single product category, education to corporate to, to large venue. Um, and you do have everything here in the booth. We're actually going to go around the booth and take individual product videos on everything that's, that's shown here. In the very front of the booth, they've got this great demo of, I don't exactly know exactly what you would call that. It's sort of like building a car, the art of building a race car or something like that. But, it, but you, uh, you, always, you always blow people away with a sort of an entrance exhibit. Yeah, so that, that is a, um, uh, our, uh, so it's got six of our high lumen projectors at, at eight different points, and it is mapping on a revolving box. Oh, the uh, box is going around the, in a circle. The box is I revolving, and uh, it's, it's uh, just an example of how we've diversified our portfolio. Again, we can display on any surface, whether it's stationary okay. or moving. That is the key. That's what we need to go shoot. We need to do, what we need to do is, is do a, uh, what do you call it, a time lapse yeah. of that going around a circle because what you're actually showing there is how the content can move while the, while the content can stay on the display, on the, uh, the surface while the surface is actually moving and stay in focus and stay project map, projection mapping, obviously. Right. That'll look cool if we do a time lapse because I didn't catch that when I yeah. first walked in. Oh, I'm going to have to check that out again. That's very impressive. Um, one last question. 2020, what do you think? Is it going to be a bigger year than 2019 for projection? Where do you think this is going to go? So I do think for Epson, 2020 is going to be uh, bigger for us in projection than, than 2019. And again, it's because of our diversified portfolio. Uh, you know, we, we go from rental and staging to theaters, to the classroom, to retail and signage. Yep. And uh, we also have a, a great Moverio demo um, that shows our augmented reality. So that diverse portfolio is what's going to propel us. That diverse portfolio is what's going to propel us uh, forward in 2020. Listen, we're, your booth is so busy, people want to walk in front of it. Even though we have this bright light here and the camera sitting here, people want to walk in front of us. But you know the problem is we're blocking off an aisle. So That's right. we can't really blame them. 
I really appreciate Tom you taking the time. I know you're really busy. I also know that you've got other people you want to talk to and uh, and get to. But I appreciate you taking the time today. We are going to go around and shoot videos on all the product stations here. If you want to see the Epson videos, go to raypubs.com/ise2020. Type in Epson in the video search window. Congratulations on a phenomenal 2019 and uh, best of luck to you on a 2020. Thank you. And remember that uh, you don't need a screen to project anymore. You can project on any surface. You want to see proof of it, just Google Light Scene, L-I-G-H-T-S-C-E-N-E, -E, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Thanks for watching.